Hi, and welcome to the Coffee Direct kitchen. We are well and truly coming into autumn. The leaves are changing colour and the nights are drawing in. So, we don't know about you, but the first thing we think of at this time of year is a lovely warming cup of spiced coffee. We have a super easy and delicious recipe for you today. It's one of autumn's most popular drinks, the pumpkin spiced latte. So without further ado, let's brew. For this recipe, you're going to need two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. You can get this from most large supermarkets and it's usually found in a tin. You'll want a sprinkling each of ground cinnamon, ground ginger and ground allspice. We've already combined ours here. You'll need 250 milliliters of your preferred milk or milk alternative, your favorite coffee from Coffee Direct, and if you like a sweeter drink, we would use a, te a teaspoon of maple syrup in this recipe. So start by putting all of the pumpkin puree at the bottom of your mug. Next, you're going to add your sprinkling of spices. Just pop them in the bottom of your mug as well and give everything a good stir to make sure it's all combined. So once that's all combined, you're going to want to brew your espresso. We would recommend for this recipe our Italian coffee. It has the perfect blend of strength and body that makes it wonderful in lattes. So once you've brewed your espresso, all you have to do is simply pour it over what's already in the bottom of your mug. And again, give it all a good stir to make sure it's combined. You really want to make sure there's no lumps left here, otherwise at the end, your drink will have little lumps of spice going on, which is not nice for anybody. So once the espresso is all combined with the pumpkin and the spice at the bottom of your mug, it's time to heat your milk. This is really easy to do. All you have to do is microwave it for one minute intervals and if you start to smell rice pudding, that means you've probably overcooked your milk and you might want to start over. So once your milk is all frothed and lovely, all you need to do is pour that over your mixture in your cup. And then you just want to, once again, give that a really good stir. Make sure there's no lumps and everything is really lovely mixed together. This is also the stage to add the maple syrup if you would like your drink to be a bit sweeter. We're gonna pop a teaspoon in. So once everything is all combined, who doesn't like a bit of whipped cream on top of their coffee? This really, really makes the perfect finish to your drink. Finally, just finish off with a little sprinkle of some more spice. And there you have it. A pumpkin spice latte, just as good as the one you can get from your favorite coffee shop. We hope you've enjoyed this recipe and we'd love to see you make this at home with your family. Visit our website, coffeedirect.co.uk, to find out more about our coffees and see some more recipes.